know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> of the horses secure and the chicken well thank you amos but it's the herd i'm worried about i know they're scattered all over the valley and beyond the weather is coming in real fast so what do you suggest amos we leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood can i help no miss if the men get caught out in that storm they're gonna die and if we lose our herd we'll all die you stupid man doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then come on amos round up your men let's get the herd dang before the weather gets any worse. Yeah! Yeah! That sky don't look good. I'm start Careful! I can't afford to fall! Hola. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books, others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. It's gonna be difficult to talk in this weather. Stay close, watch it in that mud. Hey. Let's take them over to the other herd. We'll try to drive them all back to the ranch together. Move, let's go.
Easy. 